Good chair. You were good. Michelle got it. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Good line. Should have said it on the record. <laughs> Do you have a plan for getting under the cap ceiling? <laughs> Tough first question. <laughs> <laughs> Better leave. Um, plans, not necessarily. Obviously, there's some mechanics that we'll have to do to, to get under. Um, you know, we have good depth and We'll see how the preseason game go and make some. We've got some tough decisions to make. Make the mistake. You mentioned that depth. That depth on defense, particularly you have nine NHL caliber defensemen, maybe a few more. Just what has to unfold here in the next few weeks to sort things out there. We're just going to have to kind of watch our pairs. Like we've, uh, I really like the mix on on D that we have between guys that are you know puck movers and skill guys and kind of defensive defenders. So I really like our mix um, with the guys that we've added, uh, along with the guys that we had. Um, again, we have nine NHL defensemen, and they can all play. So uh, we have some tough decisions, and quite honestly, right now we don't exactly know where we're going. Obviously, you have some ideas, but um, some tough decisions for us. Are the guys like O'Connor and Smith who are exempt from waivers? Do they maybe are they at a disadvantage or a harder time making this roster just because you don't have to risk putting them on waivers to go down? It, it's it's certainly an option, um, but we want to put the best team on the ice opening night that, that we can so if they're part of it we're going to try to find a way so you, know, you look at all your options and you start to break them down and talk them through with your staff and the coaches and make those decisions when the when the time is right but that's a, that's a fair certainly a, a discussion that will be part of it. Ron we have a couple of important players going into the last year of their contract any urgency to get anything done now with a guy like Tristan or, or is it just something you're going to let play out over the season? Uh, we've been talking to Jar so we'll, we'll see where it goes there's no there's no real urgency there from, I don't think, from either side, but we'll continue talking if we can get something done. Uh, I don't anticipate talking when the season starts, but who knows. So uh, we have been talking a little bit, and we'll, we'll see where it goes. Actually, I think he asked you about Tristan last year and just your conversations with him after the tough year he had, but what was it like this year talking to him, and where do you feel like he's kind of at after yeah. another tough end of last season just in a different kind of way? You know, I think Jars, just in the time I've been here, like he's – He's kind of getting that age where he's really grown up in, in terms of being an athlete, maturing, and you know he's been through some things that you go through to, to make yourself a better player and a better athlete. And I think I think maturity-wise, Jars is in a much better place to handle things than he was a year and a half ago, and probably another year and a half he'll be even even more so. So I think Jars is he's grown a lot, and, and we're certainly happy with him. With so many teams above the cap or close to it, does that make it tougher to make a trade? It would seem to take away some of the leverage from guys who are trying to move capable players. Yeah, definitely. There's uh, you guys can all look. You guys can all look at it. There's a lot of teams over. Um, I guess some teams you kind of wonder what they're going to do. Uh, we're obviously in that situation. As you mentioned, there's only a few suitors in terms of wanting um, to take on money. Uh, so it's a it's a tough market right now. The last couple of years with a basically a flat cap has been. It's been challenging for all of us, for sure. You guys know what we went through this summer with, with our guys and trying to fit fit everybody in. Um, so it's a it's a tough market right now, and yes, it does make it hard to make a move right now. Mike Sullivan, as well as the assistants, to Mike Vellucci and Todd Reardon, all got extensions. In Todd's case, he got, I guess, a promotion. Just what was important about extending them and, in Todd's case, the promotion? Well, we, we really like our staff. Um, they've done a terrific job. Um, they they work as hard as any staff I've ever seen. They're they're really intelligent guys, and Sully, you know, the part of, of managing you know 23 NHL players is is a job in itself. So we're really happy with our staff and felt like they deserved uh, the extensions that they got. You know, and it's been a few years of you know could have won uh, in the playoffs, maybe should have won in the playoffs with a lot of the group back, um, the core left intact. Just how much urgency is there to kind of move past those could haves and should haves? Yeah, I mean, there's urgency. Every year's a new year. Like, okay, we lost the last two years in the playoffs, certainly since I've been here. We felt like we certainly could have won both series, but I think that that's what gives you the hope that it's still there. Uh, these guys are still very good players. Um, obviously, with signing uh, Tanger and, and Gino this summer, we felt like this group can still, still go on a run and, and do a lot of damage. So we're happy with our group. I think, like I see Gino right now, and he's a hungry guy. It's like, wow, that's that's pretty good. We just signed him to a four-year deal, and I think he's been here for a month. 
Um, he looks like a beast right now, and uh, Tang are the same. You know, they're they're hungry guys. This group is hungry. Obviously, Sid, we almost hit so.